Hi there, Bubblegum. Today we're going to look at my bull targets. Where did they go? What happened? $100,000 Bitcoin or are we going to get scammed? I used to have exceptionally high bull targets because I mapped out the total crypto industry relative to stonks, relative to gold, relative to bonds and property. And yes, we are tiny. But now as the picture becomes more clear, I want you to be safe. Better to be safe than sorry. So what happened exactly to my bull targets? Well, here's the answer. The answer is they're still here. My bull targets are still here. But the odds have changed because BlackRock is a Trojan horse attack on Bitcoin and crypto. You will not hear the mainstream crypto believers say this. Some of us are. Some of us know. Deep down, we all kind of know that this is the beginning of the end, not the end of the beginning, because that would mean a super cycle is coming. So a Trojan horse means a horse where you think is coming in as a gift, but actually you're going to regret it later. The BlackRock ETF raises odds of another disappointing bull market. And yes, I even have this cute little horse emoji for you, friends, to signify it is a Trojan horse. And now I want you to know, these are just odds. I can be wrong, but they're just odds. I mean, can you really be wrong with odds? You got to protect yourself. My odds are 70% of this. Have a look at this. I believe we have 70% chance of poop, 30% chance of friendship. 70% chance of poop is very high, by the way. I'd like you to know, okay? So put down your water pistol and just chill out for five seconds, okay? Eat your cute little Leamington cupcakes. They're yummy and they're nice. Don't make a mess. Get some serviettes and just listen to me. Even if you disagree with my odds, I don't care about the odds. You never really know. I don't I don't really like this odds game anyway. Like, oh, 10% or 12%. The only thing that matters is the event that happens in the future. For example, you could have told me there was a 10% chance that Bitcoin's going to stop at $50,000. Like, who cares? It stopped there. You only live one outcome when it happens, but you got to protect yourself. So when I say 70% chance of poop for me, maybe I get you now to be stronger, wiser, smarter, friendlier, and have a straight back. And you now think, you know what? Maybe your odds aren't 70%. Maybe they're 25%, which means if you have 25% chance of death, destruction, and horror, that means you should be getting out 25% of your portfolio there. You should be watching it like a hawk when we get there. Let's go in. Let's dive into this chart that I make, hand-constructed for you. So I have a chart here, and I put it on linear just to show everybody what's actually going on. This is the Bitcoin chart. You notice how we had this double top here, the scam top. Everybody thought, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a left line here to show where $100,000 is. This is where everyone thought we would hit. Actually, I'm going to show you right now. You see this $100,000 right here, this box. This is where everybody thought we would hit. We thought we would hit there, okay? And we didn't. When Bitcoin went up, we thought, okay, here comes a double bubble. That's what everybody thought. Here comes a double bubble. Everybody thought this is coming next. Instead, <laughs> now this was death and destruction. Why? Because everybody was dreaming of 100K, but the next leg down was to $40,000. That's a big difference. So even though Bitcoin dropped 45% from the top here, Altcoins were down 60 to 75% down here. You see this little arrow is? They were around 75% down. So let's say you had a portfolio and you're looking at the top and yours was worth $100,000 and you believe, oh, wow, just another two or three more Xs at the top of my altcoin because you're in altcoins, of course. Just another three just another three more Xs in altcoins. So now you've got 100000 dreaming of 300000 if you had 300,000, you're dreaming of a million, right? So think about this. All you can see in your eyes is $1 million round number, okay? Because you are forecasting up here. But what happens next? The altcoins down here, they're actually down 70%. All of them, literally almost all of them. I'm not even kidding. Go to any single altcoin, you'll see they were down 70%. So you had 300,000 looking at a million, but actually now you've only got 30%. Of that, 30% of your 300000 you have $90,000. Do you see this? So down here, you've got 90 k So look at that. All you can see in your mind is $1 million. But now you have 90000 
and now it's over. But you don't know it's over, and now that's how we have the unfortunate. You look at $90,000, friends, and then capitulation, and then that 90000 actually drops back down to like 50000 and then 20000 and there you have it. From 300000 down to 20000 is like a 92 93% drop. That's what most altcoins did. Many altcoins dropped around 90%. So that 300000 is down to 20 30 or 40 Do you see that difference? You're looking at 30000 40000 but you were thinking you had a million. See how it's over? All of this, where does it start from? It started from that 1 million target. It's what the crowd expected. So this is why we're getting ahead of the game. This is why I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Like, subscribe, press the bell button and all. I'm here to prepare you for the future. I could be charging this like two or $3,000 for a course, making everybody 100% secure. I can do this, this fake public display of virtue saying like, oh, I want to keep the edge super secret. No, no, no. Screw them. You've had a tough time already. You work hard for your money and i love and appreciate every single one of you so this is it i'm giving it to you straight you're going to see this right now we are planning ahead just like when you raise a child you don't wait until your kid's 18 to tell them you know what there might be some bad people around you better not drink anyone's drink you start telling them from a young age you have to start preparing yourself so what i've done here i have two ba big fat giant arrows for you friends i know you love the giant arrows and so do i the red one is the hopey one. Let's start with the red one up here. You see up here, this box is what everybody expects. And you know what's funny? It's actually, a, it's a very terrible box because this lower end is $100,000 and this upper end is $160,000. So the crowd expects around here. So it's about 100 up to 200. You take around the average zone, 100 to 160. Now I know for a fact, all those influencers who are smiling to our face, they're going to be exiting at 100K. They'll be talking about 300K. They'll be saying, oh, we should be flipping the market cap valuation of gold, which is $500,000. Don't believe them. They'll be exiting at 100K, okay? They did it last cycle. They did it the cycle before. Do not trust them. You trust me. You understand? I don't take a single dollar off you. Don't trust them. I don't want to see any of you go the way of the soy. You keep your back straight. So that's where everybody expects. It's 90%. Go speak to any Bitcoin maxi. And by the way, if you are not holding Bitcoin, please, I'd like to remind you, when I'm talking about this price up here, 100K for Bitcoin, uh, six, 160K, you divide it by 10 for Ethereum. So everybody in the Ethereum camp believes in 10K to 16K, okay? 10K to 16K. That is 1.1 trillion up to 1.6 trillion market cap for Ethereum. Everybody believes in that beautiful, juicy round number for Ethereum, $10,000 Ethereum plus. That's minimum. They believe they're going to flip Bitcoin. So it should actually be 20,000. Everybody's so sure of it. I was in that camp in the past bull market and bear market. I made my, I made, or oh, see this zombie virus down here. See, squint your eyes down here, down here. I was made, I had huge targets. Once 180K, you have to divide them by three. That's where we stopped. So I'm telling you right now, all these people who have these big giant bull, bull targets, they're in the majority now. I know what it's like. I was there. I, I thought I had a unique view. I didn't. I had the majority view. So I'm here to tell you, you want to win in this game? You better, you better be contrarian. You got to be skeptical. I'm telling you right now, the contrarian view is literally, it's either this scenario, either we stop at my green arrow, 10% chance, or we literally go above 200K and we hit 300 to 500. So there is a giant pocket of air here, friends. So this is the thing, right? I understand where you're coming from because I was in it too. Because I had the same scenario drawn in the previous bull. I had 100. I said, damn, everybody expects 100 to 300K. So I believe, this is, I said this at the start, we either stop at 50 or we go to 500. There's nothing in between. But let me tell you something. Because we are dealing with the power of evil people and scammers and thieves and the evil banking institution and those, those the reptilian people, if our portfolio goes up, me and you, the people, we get more wealthy. That is a scenario where we win. We surprise ourselves to the upside. That's not going to happen. That is a la-la land where we all hold hands, there's fairies going around, and we eat jelly beans. That's not the world that's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, markets, crypto disappoints you. It's always a scenario that disappoints you. It's not the scenario where, oh, golly gee, I mean, I thought it was going to stop at, you know, 10x, and I went 400,000x. That's not how it happens. Back when people had the 1000x gains for example in ethereum ico that was the counter that was the counter belief everybody believed maybe 10x you know if vitalik sold his ethereum at 10x man 
Vitalik. He was literally selling like 50,000 Ethereum at like $9, $11, okay? So even he didn't believe in it. But that's why I'm telling you right now, everybody just has a high target now. So the 10% scenario, we stop somewhere. We, I've even got the green line here, right? You can draw this little channel thing and maybe it looks like this little channel. You see that? We go up, we come back down, we go, uh-oh. Now, this is where it gets cute. Everybody's going to think in this bear market that the cycle repeats and we're going to have another multi-year bear market. I think it's going to be shortened because I, that's why I feel, I feel like the crowd is going to think, oh my God, crypto is definitely a scam. We're going for another three-year bear market. I'll just buy back another time. And I think that's the buying opportunity. And I think we're going to break the all-time high before that Bitcoin halvening, right? I think I, I just have a feeling we're just going to break it. This is just my feeling, what I'm seeing right now. It's contrarian to think like this. And that cycle actually happened before. I'm not even making this up. See, this is where no one's ca no one even believes in this. So this is a follow-up, right? So if we get an $80,000 Bitcoin scenario, I think the bear market will be short, which is a repeat of 20, 2011, which is like, here we go. So Bitcoin drops for six months, and then six months later, it's recovered most of half the move, okay? So that is like Bitcoin by December 2022. You know how we went down for a year in the bear market? That's like Bitcoin being back to like $40,000, in December of 2022, but we were down at $15,000. You saw that, okay? So if we go back up here, instead of Bitcoin, see how we Bitcoin was December, see it was down here. It's like Bitcoin being up here. So instead we go like this, like zoop, zoop. If we got that 2017 scenario, that's what it would have looked like. Instead, we kept dying on the floor and now we're struggling, okay? We're just repeating the cycle again. And because of the correlation, friends, I'm going to show you the Litecoin chart. Now, everybody laughs at this Litecoin chart, but let me let me show you this, okay? If you put Litecoin to this chart, it looks like this is what happened, okay? In 2017, Litecoin went up, pumped and dumped down, and then it went up, barely broke the high, came back down, crash, all right? Double top, double peak, double, double bubble, if you will, right? If you put Litecoin on a log chart, it looks like a God T project. Look at this. So I hope if you're in the Hex and Pulse Chain community, I hope you're paying attention because imagine you're holding Litecoin and you're being laughed at. There are Litecoin maxis saying, hey, man, since 2015, since the bottom, okay, they go and they do this bottom tick. They go, whoa, since 2015, Litecoin is still up 82 times your money. Do you see this like false type of marketing? But they completely discount the fact that you've been bleeding for such a long time. And they're probably wondering, what has Litecoin got to do with any of it? I'll tell you right now, this chart, I'm going to show you something. Your jaw might drop a bit. Just be careful, okay, because you got to catch your jaw, friends. What I did was, I did a ghost fractal of this chart and I'm going to put it over the hex chart. Okay, you see this part? You see this? I'm now going to show you what it's like over the hex chart. And here it is right now. It is Litecoin overlay with the hex chart. And of course, all of the peaks and bubbles look like this, but this is just an interesting thing to have a look at because this is what I think will happen if we get the scam scenario. Now, remember, I want to tell you something. There are two paths we can take friends if i show you my actual bitcoin scenario there are two, look at this look at this okay this is the bitcoin channel there are two arrows here you see this this first arrow is 16 months after the bitcoin halvening sorry 12 months 12 months after and this is 18 months after so because i think bitcoin had a double bubble in 2021 i think now we're going to have an altcoin double bubble which is two waves of altcoins so just as a quick reminder, in 2013, Bitcoin had a double bubble. In 2017 cycle, Ethereum and altcoins had a double bubble. So Bitcoin only had one wave. Then in 2021, it switched again. It switched back to Bitcoin. Do you see this? Bubble one, bubble two. Okay. Now I think there's just my guess that it's going to switch back again. We're going to go back the other way. Now this cycle is going to be one wave of Bitcoin, but double bubble for alt. Which alts? I don't know. Which stories? Of course, we don't know. I'm just here to guess. So in this double bubble, this is where we don't know what's going to happen. All right. We don't know. Is the altcoins, are we going to get different sectors rallying in one bubble for the altcoins and then another sector rallying in the second? Or are we going to get all the altcoins rallying in the first bubble and then all the altcoins rallying again? That's what we don't know, okay? So as I explained to you, so you have to prepare for the worst case scenario. What's a scenario that me and you don't want to hear? It's a scenario where we are only part of one bubble and then we are not part of the next bubble. It doesn't matter what altcoin you're holding, whether it's Doge, SHIB, we got Chainlink, we got DeFi, whether in Uniswap, whether in Pulse Chain, PulseX, Hex, whatever it is, okay? So you, I'm trying to just protect us from what our expectations are. 
And now we're back to this Litecoin chart overlay on Hex. I mean, it's kind of jaw-dropping how they all work out. So this was what my base case looks like, the worst case, my base worst case. So if, because, okay, look, I'll tell you right now, there is a 100,000% chance this BlackRock ETF is some sort of Trojan horse. How it appears, we don't know, but I'm telling you right now, it's just, it's 100% fact, okay? So this BlackRock ETF is a Trojan horse. I don't know what altcoins are going to do. And I'm not going to pretend I know. I'm just going to draw out the worst scenario for me and you. So we are protected. And this is what it is, okay? A lot of people don't want to hear this. It would be, okay, now you can move and match this just a little bit. We don't know exactly when it happens, but if this is just me, okay? The worst scenario, because this is the chart no one wants to see. It is altcoins, including Hex, Doge, everything, they run up towards their all-time high, okay? Now, here's the thing. Some altcoins stop under it. Some altcoins stop at the all-time high. Other altcoins might break it, okay? So, you know, maybe go. Maybe some altcoins go failure or they double top the, the, uh, the bubble or they go up and then they come back down. So that's the three things that can happen. You don't know which one's going to happen, it just depends, I guess, in the strength of your community and the network effect and how everything's going. But this is the scam scenario. This is all of us being slapped by Bitcoin. Maybe the stock market rolls over. Something happens at this point. And then would usher in some horror show because look at this. Everybody, look at this, friends. Isn't this just perfect? Think about this, all right? Everybody in crypto knows it's, it's this. This is the Bitcoin yearly chart, okay? Everyone in crypto knows, friends. One, two, three green yearly years, bear market. Green, one, two, three green yearly years, bear market, okay? One, two, three green years, bear market. So if everybody expects three green candles again, it's one, 2023, 2024, 2025, everybody would be 100% certain that a red, that a green year is going to come. That's what everyone thinks. Bitcoin might be here right at, at 80, 90,000. They go, whoa, the next leg's up here. But what instead, what if we get the down scenario? What if, uh-oh, something happens? And so there are no guarantees. The story can change. The odds can change. But I'm just, I'm here to tell you right now. I know everybody on Twitter. I know everybody on YouTube. I've been watching everybody like a hawk. I'm here 18 hours a day. I'm telling you. Crowd consensus is exactly what I showed you. It is that. We can't argue about that. These are the facts. Go and ask anybody yourself. Do the ground research. I'm just here to tell you. I don't want it to be like that. I wish everybody would tell me there would never, ever be another bull market ever again. I wish this BlackRock ETF never came, and I wish I could be bullish. Unfortunately, to be on the side that most likely wins, the contrarian side, unfortunately, you have to have a target which is much lower than everybody else. And this is the scenario that no one wants to see. No one wants to see. But here's where it kind of gets a kicker. So I know we're, now I'm forecasting out too far in the future. I don't have any idea what happens, but let's say hex does go up here. This is, by the way, this is combined hex. So I know we have, this is an e-hex. So this would be combined hex, okay? So combined hex right now is about three cents. So yeah, I guess it goes back to near the top. Total hex is anywhere from, it could stop anywhere here, friends. No guarantees, 40 50, 60, 70 cents. It could stop anywhere here, right? 40, 50, 60. So it could be one, two, three, four. Somewhere up here doesn't really matter. They're just spikes anyway when you look at it. I think after it collapses, it'll come all the way back down to around, this is just my guess, around 10 cents. This is just what I feel like. Somewhere around this 10 cents. I mean, who knows with this game? Maybe it just pokes under it, makes everyone think again, right? You know, it's, it's, it's something to think about. 10 cents is great, from our perspective right now, 10 cents was around testnet version three. The problem is when this 10 cents comes, it will be in 2026, do you see? Or the very end of 2025. We might have end of 2025, we might flash back down. It might even happen earlier, but you get the point. People are gonna realize once you see that again, they're gonna go, wait the hell, I've been holding for one, two, three, four and a half, five years and we're still at 10 cents. And this is how you have the Litecoin chart I showed you, which is right here, Litecoin chart, right? No one thought Litecoins, oh, you're going to stop at the all-time high. And you know, this is not an individual occurrence. This has happened in other coins too. This is the XRP chart. Have you noticed this double bubble? Starting to look familiar now, friends. What about Tron, TRX? Starting to look familiar now. Here's another double bubble. 
And this is a very strong example. Another one here for you. This is Cardano, right? Bubble one. But look, bubble two went way above, but it actually came back within the zone. So, I mean, look at all these examples, friends. I promise you, I'm, I'm bringing you the survivors. These are the coins still in the game. The ones that aren't in the game, they never even have a double bubble. Their double bubble is like this length, this size, and then it goes down to literally minus 99%. And baby cakes, just remember, I'm not picking on any altcoin myself. I'm just telling you, okay, I just I love using this hex example to showcase everybody because we have a strong community and everything pumping up. We've got the hex movie coming out, but I just want to highlight to you most of this scenario and why things happen. It's not because a hex or an altcoin community is cracked or it's tainted or it's not going to make it. It's not to do with that. All of this comes down to the fact that those reptilian dudes, the overlords, they know to send down crypto, you send down Bitcoin. They did it in 2022. They know exactly the playbook. It's all programmed to be hedged with Bitcoin. And even if you don't have any liquidity tied with Bitcoin, we all know what happened here. Okay, I still get messages today from some fanatics telling me we're not correlated to Bitcoin. Yeah, we're not. Oh, really? We're not correlated. Everybody's correlated to Bitcoin, man. Bitcoin and Ethereum. Hex, for example, this is a great example to show you, okay, because I'm glad I got to live and see it. When we go down here, I remember, okay, Hex had no liquidity bonded to Bitcoin, none. It had no liquidity. It was Hex USDC. Yet, every four-hour red candle, I would watch someone wake up in either the Asia session, the European session, or the American session. They would wake up, and as soon as the business hours open, you, I could just imagine it. They're looking at their screen, they're seeing Bitcoin red, and they just click sell in hex. Sell, sell, capitulate, 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 over and over and over again. This is what I call manual correlation. Manual. So think about that. It's just psychologically we see the stock market down or Bitcoin down. People wake up, they want to see red. That's it. They want to see red. They want to feel red. They want to panic red. It's in their bones to do it. And so look, at the end of the day, I this is my, my gut feeling. My gut feeling is when we have this bear market, I think it's going to be short. I think it's going to be short and we come back up and then we actually break the high before the Bitcoin harmoning. I, this is what I feel. Now, when you look at it from a very long perspective, I think, this is just my guess, it's going to look like a giant cup and then a huge handle and it's going to look like that. That's just what I, I think, okay? Now, the Bitcoin halving is going to be somewhere here. So it might actually be like something like this, right? And we continue up. It might even look better on a log chart. I know it's kind of crazy. It might look better on a log chart. We come up, we peak up here. And then we come back down and then we continue up like that, okay? So it is what it is. Look, if you're happy with just hex 10 to 20, 30 cents, I know these numbers, you're like, what the hell? This is not 100x. This is not 1,000x. Well, look, I don't really care about what anyone thinks or whatever. I know where I was and I know what was going through my mind at the top of the Bitcoin market, okay? I know exactly what was going on. I know what everybody was feeling. I know the liquidity required to now push all these numbers now. And I'm just telling you, you don't have to go all in. And you don't have to go all out. Just plan for this scenario. Just, I want you to have a think. I wish someone trained me when I was a wee witchel pup. When I was out in Dublin, I wish, somebody, I wish somebody sat me down and trained me. And they said, you know, even if you are the most gargantuan, testicle, big, horny bull out there, you can't be 100% on anything, okay? There's still a chance you flip a coin, it's tails five times in a row. So... When you get to these zones, you should be drawing scenarios where you get screwed and give them a probability. And that's how much you trim off. So even if you're a mega, mega, mega bull, you believe that's it, 80% chance Bitcoin goes to 300K, 20% chance Sami's dark prophecy happens. Okay, even if you say there's a 20% chance, at least I can go to sleep at night knowing, hey, I got someone out there to at least think of this 20% chance and say, well... I've got, I've made it, I've, I've, I've DCA'd hard because, hey, luckily you had a friend to tell you to buy in the depression and go super aggressive, right? So when we're in the la-la land, you're not praying for a Bitcoin 300,000. Instead, you're saying, you know, I'm going to trim out 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50%, whatever you choose. You can choose anything like that. Pay your taxes and leave it on the sideline because that money, if the prophecy, dark prophecy plays out and, and BlackRock is the Trojan horse, 
you will have money to buy in that deep capitulation, whereas everybody else is still praying for the Bitcoin 100K leg, which may or may not never come until a few years later down the track. And my very last message for you, friends, is I want to tell you something which scares me, but also excites me because we have an edge. Bitcoin in this, okay, Bitcoin in its first cycle, 20,000x your money. Bitcoin in the second cycle from the low to the top did 600x. Now let's go. 600x, the next cycle did a 100x. You divide it by five. Then in this cycle, this 100x, when you move forward, it became 20x. You divided it by five again. We keep dividing by five. What's interesting is when I show a lot of Bitcoin and Ethereum maxis, I show everybody this chart, they don't want to believe we're only going to get a 5x. No one. And I'm like, man, it's obviously pointing to one number. I wonder how everybody would react. I want to know, I want to feel what the crowd reacts and everybody is in denial of this number. If you divide this number from the bottom here by five, right? The f if you get a 5x from here, friends, you get about an $80,000 Bitcoin, okay? So plan just in case it happens. We're going to beat the crowd. You already know what to do. I gave you I gave you the blueprint. You go super hard when everybody's crying so that if they start partying too early, you are prepared. Remember, we want them to party at 300,000. That's what we that's what I want. But we have to plan. What if they party at 80,000? If they party with their pants down and they're eating jelly beans at $80,000, you're like, "Crap, you're partying too early." But you have to be a responsible adult or a duck. And you have to flap your wings and say, well, I'm now going to have to protect myself just in case this BlackRock Trojan horse thing plays a story out for us. Thank you very much, baby dolls. Like, subscribe, press the bell button and all. Tell mom and dad, we are merely protecting ourselves in the future. We're still going to love them no matter what. Catch you in the next one.